In this video, I'm going to show you how to make characters walk in, shake hands, and sit down. Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Ali, and in this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate for you how I manipulated this scene to make it perfect as much as I could, even though with the limitation that I had in the software in terms of the character's actions, uh, they were kind of limited. So I'm going to show you where the problem is and show you how to overcome that and help you try and make this animation look as perfect as you could. Regardless Regardless of how limited the software is, we are still going to work around it to find our way out. Because if we wait until the world becomes perfect, then we will never do anything. And so before we dive deeper into this, I'll show you what I created, then we can come back and start creating. I hope you like the example. Now let's dive right into creating and show you how you can make those characters walk in, shake hands, and then sit down. So first things first, we need to have our background, which I'm gonna leave a link to in the description below. So you can follow along with me and use the same exact background or feel free to use whatever background you like, but just make sure that it's got a seat in there so that you can achieve the exact same effect that we're looking for. Next is grabbing your 3D creators, which you can grab from the 3D creator characters. And then it's up to you how you want to design the characters. Once you have all this ready, what you want to do is start with the background by extending it up until 14 seconds. And then it's time to start choosing our actions for both characters. It's important to make uh, Tom right above uh, Linka in the timeline so that they are in the right order. And then we can start making adjustments. So the first thing we're going to do is we're, we will start working with Tom uh, list of actions. So his first action is going to be walk in. So I'm going to go to uh, the action tab on the uh, right side, and then I'm going to open the action list and I'm going to choose walking as his first action. Then we will click on add new action and then we will use uh, shaking hands and then add new again. So we can add our final action, which is going to be sitting right there. Next, we need to start adjusting uh, Link as anime actions. And so I'm gonna choose the first action and make that walking right there. Add new action, and then she's gonna do the same thing. So she should be shaking hands. And then we will add new action again, and then we would choose sitting. That way they're both lined up exactly and have the same actions in the timeline. And then it's time to start working. Now, Tom and Linka are gonna start walking sideways. Uh, but they're going to start within the scene. So he's going to start walking from the left side, but still inside our scene. Same goes for Linka. So let's start working with Tom. So I'm going to select Tom. And then the first thing I want to do is uh, click on where it says walking on the character's track, because I want to disable the starting animation where he can start walking right from the very beginning. Same goes for Linka. We're going to select her, click on walking, and then we can disable start as well. Right. And then what we want to do is because you can see Tom is walking in the wrong angle or direction. So what we're looking to do is simply click and rotate above the character and then rotate Tom to the right side so he can be looking or facing Linka while he's walking in just like that. And then we can start um, creating our animation. So I'm going to go back and select Tom and then I'm going to click on add animation above the timeline. Under properties, we will choose position. Easing is going to be linear for both in and out so that we make our character look natural. And then I'm going to uh, select my first keyframe right here. And then I'm going to drag Tom and make him start from the left side, but still inside the scene, just like I said. And then we're going to uh, drag our second keyframe until the end. And by the way, we need to disable the ending animation for the walking action, something I forgot, but let's do that now. Click on walking, and then we want to disable end as well. Same goes for Linka. We're going to disable end so they can walk from start to finish. And as far as fine tuning the second keyframe, we can simply do that by advancing our playhead forward in time until we spot Tom when he makes his final step and then drag the second keyframe to where he is uh, at and simply drag Tom to the right side, make him, you know, almost to the center on the center of the canvas, just like this and then he is good to go. Next, he's gonna start shaking hands. So this is the problem with shaking hands. As you can see, he turns into a different direction 
and shakes as well in a, in a total different direction. So this is where we work around that and try to make it right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back to the second keyframe, select that so that we're on the middle of it. And then we will go to add animation above the timeline to start adding some keyframes. As far as easing is going to be linear again for both in and out. Well, then we will click on the properties tab. And then I'm going to choose character view. Character view is the one that's responsible for rotating characters uh, 360. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And as far as the distance between the first keyframe and the second keyframe, this has to be 19 frames. I tried it a few times until I uh, figured it out. So you got to count 19 frames and then adjust the second keyframe. So all you got to do is uh, go with the frame per second button that is right next to the play button, the forward uh, button right there. So just count 19 frames. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Next, you want to drag the second keyframe to where the playhead is at. Make sure this is selected, and then we're going to click on rotate above the character and rotate Tom to the left side. So he is still facing Linka and still, you know, and his hands is about to shake with her, right? And then once he does that, he should be sitting. So I'll worry about sitting down a little later. Uh, so let's just start working with Link and make sure that they are both lined up. So we're gonna start right from the very beginning and then we're gonna select Link. Same thing, we're gonna click on add animation. We're going to choose position as properties. Easing is going to be linear for both in and out. And then I'm going to advance my playhead until I, I spot her final step right before she turns and drag my second keyframe to where my playhead is at and then go back to the first keyframe just to make sure that she's also going to start right from the uh, beginning which is the right side of our scene just like this and then simply click on the second keyframe then i can get them closer oops and i can get them closer to each other just like this and then i can advance my playhead forward in time right and this is where the other issue is that she also rotates in a different angle so we need to make sure that she is in the right angle and shaking hands with Tom. So we're going to go back to the second keyframe of our position animation that we just created. And then we can click on add animation above the timeline. Easing is going to be linear for both in and out. Properties is going to be character view. And then I got my two keyframes ready. I need to drag my second keyframe and line this up with my second keyframe on Tom's layer. So they're both exactly uh, lined up together and then make sure that you select your second keyframe. Same thing, we're gonna click on rotate and then we're going to rotate Linka in the right direction. So she's facing Tom like this. Now, as you can see, there is still a little bit of distance between both, but here's what happened. When I advanced my, my play at forward in time, there seems to be a problem with the position. So all I'm going to do is make sure that, oops, I'm gonna select Linka and then drag her right there, right here. So they are shaking hands. And then, you know, we're good to go. So let's just go back and watch this from the beginning. Here's how it looks like they're walking in and then they're just going to shake hands like this. And then when they're done, they're going to sit down. So that's the other problem is that Linka sits in the wrong direction or position. And so we have to fix that. Same goes for Tom, right? He's sitting in the right angle, but the problem is that he's not sitting exactly on the wooden deck right there. So we need to to work around that using keyframes. And that's how we control and manipul manipulate things, right? And I'm gonna you know, show you another tip to work around that, to hide the part where Linka is sitting in the wrong angle, um, and then it should be fine, so you don't have to worry about this. So let's just go back from the very beginning of the sitting action for both of them right there, where the little square is. That's basically the starting point of the sitting action. And then I'm going to start working with Tom. So as far as Tom, I'm going to select him and then I'll go and click and add animation. And there are a few properties that we need to select. These are going to be uh, position and scale. And then we will go as far as easing. I'll keep it as is. It should be smooth by default. So let's keep that as is. Next, we're going to select the second keyframe. And as you can see, we need to drag, drag Tom right there above the deck so he looks right. And then we're going to need to scale him up a little just like that so he's sitting in the right position 
we're good to go so here's how it looks like he's gonna look like he's kind of like jumping in but that's okay i mean sometimes we do this when we're about to you know sit on on seats i know it might look awkward but again we're trying to work around it and try to perfect it as much as we could and work with the limitation of the software right that we we don't have to feel stuck because there's always a workaround or there's always a way out next we're going to go back to the beginning again of the sitting action for linka and as far as linka uh we have her selected we're going to click on add animation above the timeline um, easing is going to be smooth as well properties they're going to choose uh, position scale and then character view because she was going to sit down in the wrong angle so we had to choose character view to take care of the rotation problem and then we're going to select our second keyframe and as you can see she's sitting in the wrong angle so what we're going to do is simply click on the rotate above the character to rotate link uh, in the right angle just like this and then click on the rotate again to exit the rota rotation mode and simply just grab her right there right next to tom and scale her up a little bit like this oops i keep selecting tom by accident so let's just go back again all right let me lock this guy so i don't do this by mistake all right next when you grab linka make sure she's right next to tom right here adjust the uh size and everything and this is how it's going to look like once i press play right you can see it's kind of awkward you know the way how she sits down and rotates like this but again you can fine tune this or you can you know work around that using a different camera angle that will hide this uh part and try and make it as perfect as you could so here's what we we're going to do we're going to have our playhead back again at the very beginning of the sitting action and then i'm going to go to the uh effects and components tab on the uh, left panel and i'll click on the components tab so i can start working with our camera animation next I'll grab the camera animation, drag it and drop it onto the canvas. And then I'm gonna need to add another, to add a camera animation. So all I'm gonna do is I'll double click where my playhead is at to add a camera animation bar. And here's what we're gonna do. So we need to move forward or advance our playhead forward in time, just about the, the, the distance where she sits down. Like she kind of like sits down at that point. And then we're going to drag or shrink down the camera animation bar to where our playhead is or even before that just like this and then we can adjust the camera frame size so we're going to adjust that size and kind of like make it look like this right here let's take a look there you go she's just fine right there and then when we go back press play this is how it's going to look like take a look right so that's how it's going to look like so this is how we use you know camera angles to manipulate our scene in terms of how it looks like and then we can adjust you know the way how it views our uh, character's animation and again it's just a workaround so this is how you know let's just play the whole thing from the beginning and show you what that looks like so that that was really the easiest way i could figure out um, you're free to try and follow along with me and if you are able to come up with another way or solution that works even better, let me know in my Facebook group. You'll find a link to that in my description as well. And by the way, I tried flipping the character, but that did not work because they were not shaking hands in the right way. So I had to keep him as is without flipping characters, but only take care of the rotation angle, exactly how I showed you in this tutorial. So let's just go back again, press play, and this is how the end result is going to look like so they walk in they shake hands just like that and then we can simply just do this really quickly uh like that so i hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and be sure to check out my recent previous tutorials that i created that is going to show you how to make doors or how to open doors or, or close them to make characters interact with your scenes and create beautiful animations to engage with your audience but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one yeah.